remember I said another thing about your hygienic or blood circulation work? I, I see so many things about how you sweat. Either you pull inside your bathroom and sometimes I close the lights, I close the door, I close the window. Cage within the darkness. Focus. Like a focus and then I will have this sweat coming out here. And same thing kind of like you're drinking the really hot soup. Sometimes you have this, you're not feeling well. And what I have to do is I had to very, very careful, like using my hand, doing this. This is ancient Chinese drama, show you. You're using a towel, you t slowly tap, 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 tap. It's very, very sensitive. When you go to the pool, sometimes do you know like, most of you are constipation, you know that? Constipation means no matter how you actually squeeze it, you use the entire force. That's why I have to be careful, you know. Your your, your breath your, your your brain has vessel, blood. What will happen? You, you know what if you blood vessel burst within your head, what happened to you? The blood go inside your brain. Or you got stroke or you know what I mean? There's certain things you don't burst. For example, okay, if I, I drink this thing, then I drink it down. Where do you think the water goes? Into your stomach. Stomach goes to intestine, goes to colon. Between intestine and colon, they have a structure. They're absorbing your water. This water will be going into your different places all around your body. Soup, water, juice, the thing that don't require you to chew the food. All this soup, like a hot soup going. And when you have this much heat of water, like a soup, your entire pore of your body open, you start to sweat. At least you know that, right? That's the circulation of your blood contracting out. Because a la lady, most girls are mostly wish your body a little bit warmer sometimes you get cold hand cold feet you, you ever know that in america or oh, in taiwan the weather no it, it's comfortable our temperature weather here is comfortable it is in america it's too cold in the morning or too cold in the evening when you're getting old you wish you have a tropical weather now when you're saying that your hygienic how you actually dealing with your that sensitivity of washing your hands you don't use in your let's say you go outside you pay the bill to someone you buy stuff you don't use in those hands touch your eyes touch your nose touch your mouth and when you touch your your eye eating you don't touch your keyboard you go wash your hands just about a thousand times you bring an alcohol wipe or alcohol gel you just keep washing and washing and washing outside inside outside inside outside inside when you're coughing, you don't cough in your hand and then you, you, you touch your eyes. In the Chinese medicine, there is a, a, a particular very, very horrific death. It's called seven holes blood bleeding out. Your eyes bleed out. The, the blood coming up from your eyes, from your nose, from your mouth, from your ears, from your belly button. What was the, uh, the down there? Seven, seven holes. It's not cruelty of saying that. It's, horrific death or not just just the look of it you wish you when you die you sleep death or you give your people illusion that you are fine at least when you're passing on it so when you say your eye is where the dirty thing gonna go in the dirty thing gonna go into your mouth nose but your nose has nose mm, hair nose hair that's why I, a lot of people tell you don't talk too much because when you're breathing you're breathing from your nose not from your mouth you can breathe in from your mouth correct if you hold this you can still breathe in right you can still live on but if you talk a lot and you don't cover your mouth in the airplane you'll find out your nose too dry or something you get caught a uh, a cough right off the airplane when you were traveling a lot you get a flu you get a cough and you got sick. It's because your nose has a hair that fi filter you 
uh, that was probably like 10 years before COVID-19, I tell you, we have gone to retreat. These people, when they go into retreat, they always say, oh, it's their master's blessing power after they get off the retreat to go back at home and take an airplane and they got sick when they landing in the home. So I found out something with a mask. I start to wear a mask and that mask, it keep the nose moisture. I have nothing going in, going out ever after that anymore. Well, they will tell you the superstition of the stupid things. But it's your nose, have the ear. you need to keep your nose always in moisture in an airplane. Or your immune system will be different, you just keep the mask on. Right now you take it, you just say, oh, you just take the mask on because of COVID-19. You should just always keep the mask on when you're on the airplane to keep your nose not to dry. No, your nose is very, very sensitive. The inside mouth, so you close your mouth, don't talk. You're using your hair to filter the air. And then when you keep the mask on, you will have the moisture that within here will protect that. I remember what I, said, I tell you. Now, when you're outside and come back, back in, you doing this a lot of touching with your hands on the table, on the keyboard, on the monitor, there's a dust, there's a sweat. And then you put on your makeup, on your eyes, on your nose, on, on Oh, on your phone, and, and you have to talk to your eyeglasses, take it out, take it off, put on the food, and eat in there. Those are very, very, you know, very, very dirty. What do you do? If you rather not do that, you can just eat outside, really. Whatever the food from the 7 Eleven, the convenience store. Oh, that's what I will tell you. If you're going through this hunger game and catch fire, you should increase your hygienic idea level and understand what the blood were in the circulation. Oh, that would be probably the continuation of my the last two videos.